Hello everybody, today we're gonna overclock GTX 980 Ti from Asus, this is Strix Gaming Edition. Right, and I just want to say prior to sharing what's, what's happened with you, uh, I just want to say my opinion on overclocking the memory. So, I believe that in order to overclock the memory, the card needs needs some sort of cooling for the memory because one of the main reasons for it is memory gets overheated and there's no more stability it just crashes so this is a beautiful card and i had high expectations from it everything about it like it it looks it looks fantastic and the quality of all the components is great pcb fantastic uh They've changed the power phase, changed the MOSFETs, chokes, everything. There's so much upgraded in here. The one little tiny problem is that there's no, there's no cooling for the memory. I don't know how Asus managed to overlook it, but there's no cooling for the memory. It's just bare chips. So yeah, I'm going to talk about that more um in my full review of this card but just wanted to mention this because because i i didn't overclock the memory for the reason that you just said i believe it needs to be cooled in order to overclock it so i didn't overclock it the only thing i overclocked on this card was the core and uh, yeah disappointing disappointing but on the core uh, achieved 8.5% increase. Uh, base clock is 1190 MHz, and the real boost, not the uh, not the boost that uh, you know advertised, but the real boost is 1380 MHz, and the overclock I achieved was 1497. So yeah. Uh, that is pretty nice, but it seems like um, none of the 980 Ti's are able to uh, go past go past 1500 megahertz mark um, because of some sort of uh, I don't know. Just it's just the way it is, and I, as you can see, I didn't even use any uh, overvolting because it didn't help at all. Um, it didn't help bring this ability even using full voltage. And um, basically, in order to get high clocks, you need some kind of extreme cooling like liquid nitrogen or chiller. So yeah, here you go. And overclocked, it was running uh, with uh, fans. I had to crank up the fan speed uh, manually. So uh, fans were running at around 52 to 56%, temperature around 70. And that is pretty much it. So yeah, I expected more from this card because I really was looking forward to overclocking it and getting those test results but I didn't feel like doing any actual benchmarking because because I didn't overclock the memory because it's not cooled down right let me know in the comments below what do you think about all this if you think that I was wrong not to overclock the memory, or do you think I was correct? Until next time, RG out.